You hear footsteps nearby. Suddenly alert, you walk to the cage door. Ah, and so finally our guest awakens. My, my, how confused you look. Fret not. Your questions will be answered soon enough. But first, you must tell me this. Did Sibyl Stentor send you? Yes. I believe I am. But I don't think Sibyl Stentor meant for you to kill me. No. You were sent as tribute to sustain me, to sustain us. She's a vampire too, you see. Before we came to an arrangement with her, we used to feed on the inhabitants of Dragonbridge. Now we leave the poor fools alone. In return, she sends us every sellsword or bounty hunter who annoys her at court. Fortunately for us, Stentor finds a great many people annoying. The last few years have been a veritable feast. You are in my home, which you so unwisely decided to trespass on. As you entered, you set off one of my protective spells. It paralyzed you and rendered you unconscious. Then, I brought you here. Oh, if I wanted to keep you as one of my feeding thralls, you wouldn't have a choice. Fortunately for you, my hospitality is of a very different sort today. Well, I would have thought that was obvious. Have you not felt the weakness spreading in your limbs? The fever, the cold sweat, the strange thirst? You, my I have friend, a level up available. are turning into a vampire because our Lord has marked you as one of his chosen, and I see why. There is a power resting in you. I cannot discern its nature, but it is palpable. You will serve our Lord well. Ah, but you forget, my friend, that our Lord is the Prince of Domination. Whether tomorrow or in the next era, your will shall be his to command. This is but the beginning of your servitude. Of course, you could try to kill yourself before you turn. Perhaps that would change your fate. Then again, perhaps our Lord would simply drag your soul to Cold Harbor anyway, to labor forever as a petty slave. I simply don't know. But all this talk has made me thirsty. I'll retire now and join my coven for a drink. I leave you to ponder your fate. Hmm. A word of parting advice, my young friend. The harder you resist, the deeper will be your despair. But accept your fate now, and you will find peace. Trust me. I know. a small sharp piece of bone in one of the corners of the cage you hesitate at first dreading what will follow then you slit your wrist wide open stuff pours out and you feel yourself ebbing away oh great oh, so we still oh well that what <laughs> sharp pain pierces your stomach awakening you never have you felt so thirsty as you get your bearing you notice a piece of paper in your robe's pocket ah reading this you should have just woken up by the river near dragon bridge you are now a child of the night mine in fact i apologize for leaving you in the wilderness under undefended but I have work to be do elsewhere in Skyrim and it's safer this way even as I write this some of my more jealous disciples are planning to kill you the moment I leave we can't have that you are destined for great things you may find your belongings in a locked chest be find your, behind beside your former lodgings I see no issue in returning them to you I know yet they will be used in dutiful service to our lord. Eventually, at least, I attach the key to this note. Feel free to slay whatever remains of my coven in Pine Moon Cave. 
they mean nothing to our Lord, for their faith has been waning for some time. Of course, you may wish to slake your thirst for before confronting them. I suggest you hunt for prey in a nearby town. Enjoy those first few necks, though the choicest. As a parting gift, I pass on to you these three teachings. First and foremost, drink deep and often of our Lord's fountain. Savor every drop. Second, never reveal your true self to the lesser beings for any reason but to show them the cold embrace of our Lord. Third, let our Lord into your heart. You are filled with purpose during your remaining time on Mundus. Serving, serve him faithfully and cold harbor will bring you nothing less than pure ecstasy. Farewell, young one, until our next meeting. I look forward to seeing what you become. Sincerely, Andros Androsius Unval. Stay, stay there. No witnesses. <laughs> I know you killed him. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. In fact, I wanted to thank you. You will not be missed. And then both him and his wife did um, turn into vampire food. That's just hilarious. Oh, yeah. I can get the rest of those later. There are plenty of mushrooms in here that we can use. Okay, they're good. We got all our gear back. Yeah, this play Pine Moon Cave is a really good place to come if you need to stock up on uh, alchemy ingredients like mushrooms and stuff. Because you can find them all scattered out throughout the entire uh, dungeon. Especially, and you can also find like a couple of potions that you can either use or sell if needed. And especially stuff in the barrels like g garlic.
I think that's most of the yeah I think that is that's most of the mushrooms that we can find in here oh no hold on yeah okay cool. yeah that's most of them that's most of the shrooms man we gotta get we gotta like get out of here and get on to our next task finding our girl Serana oh here wait Oh, yeah, there we go. You have to... Uh, sometimes, if you play it just right, you can get that one clump of mushrooms before you hit the exit. Otherwise, it takes you it takes you right out into the world. Now, th this armor really, it really is pretty good. It's about the closest we'll get to having, like, uh, kind of like a Witch King... Witch Queen or Ring Wraith armor. Now, but before we go pick up Serana, we're going to go claim a few souls over here. I also have a mod that adds a whispering sound to Soul Trap. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Sometimes the combat animations don't play and they just kind of stand there with their weapon over their shoulder. I'm gonna keep some of these a little short. All right. Vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone, a fool like all the rest of them. Where are you going? Where are you going?
Hold on. Did you hear something? You can actually see them sticking out like this. Hold on. Did you hear something? 